Hello guys, welcome to Jim Will Shave. Well, it's actually a weekend, and it's not a weekend. It's the start of the Queen's Jubilee celebra uh, celebrations, the Platinum celebrations, and it's a bank holiday today. And unusually, I find myself off on a bank holiday. That's rare, so make the most of it. So I'm gonna have a good shave, down a pub, a few share bits, and celebrate Her Majesty. Okay, what have I got for you today? Let me show you. And here we have it. Brand spanking you. A present from Lorna for Father's Day, even though I'm not a father. That would be weird. So yeah, so this is the Mueller R41 GS. Stainless steel, the ground stainless. 113 grams in weight. It's nearly 106 millimeters from the base of the handle to the top cap. So I've already said 113 grams in weight. Now I've measured the width of the handle with a, a tape measure, and I think it's around about 15 millimeters handle. And it's a nice chunky, firm handle, nice and weighty, really nice. So this is it. This isn't the uh, chrome alloy version of the um, Mule R41. This is the GS. The grand stainless stainless steel throughout gonna last a lifetime open comb obviously it's the beast it's known as the beast and i've got the blade in there's not a lot of blade show from underneath that top cap and the blade i've got in here is actually the blade that came with the razor and it is the uh, Mueller blade so that's what i'm doing for today so louder of sweden 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 ragnarok I think that's how we pronounce it, a Ragnarok. Excellent soap. It's neither hard, neither soft. There's the soap. Very, very simple scent. It's uh, patchouli and cedarwood. Patchouli, one of my favorite scents to go on a soap. So yeah, I really like this, patchouli and cedarwood. Very simple, uh, very simple scent. And I like it. It's uh, vegan based, organic, and it's, it's good stuff. Love the uh, lava up. In my uh, look at that lather, ooh, ooh. it's like an ice cream look. Lathered up in my executive shaving, super duper sized lathering bowl. So let's get to business, shall we? Yeah, executive shaving. It's just being announced. For those that don't know, Brian did email all customers on the mailing list and all customers that purchase from the executive shaving company. And he's also put it on some of the uh, shaving forums. That's uh, Brian. Is uh, Mulraney? Mulraney is retiring from uh, the executive shaving company, and under a law or a facility under the uh, Scottish government, Scottish Parliament, the uh, employees are actually taken over. Executive shaving as a sort of cooperative, so the employees, I suppose, will no longer be employees, they'll all be partners. So, exec shaving is still going to be in business, but it's going to be under well, existing employees' management. My simple sense. Put a lot of water in this, lathered it up about 15 minutes ago, left it to stand. Then uh, add a wee bit more water, as I like to do. And put it on the wet side. There we go. Lovely. Shave a my nipple, guys. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, I hate my nipple being touched. Can't stand it. Why do men have nipples? Hey, why do men have nipples? Simple. Because without nipples, titties will be useless. Pointless, sorry. Yeah, without nipples, titties will be pointless. Nice, simple scent. Nice, simple soap. Handcrafted in Sweden. They make some good films in Sweden too, you know. You know what I mean? Not that I've seen any for many years. 
Okay. I'll do me. Yeah, I haven't been uh, able to be too active on the YouTube front at the moment. The uh, hotel I've just been in for a week in uh, Devon, Turkey. Can't find my bloody razor. Where have I put it? Oh, there it is. There she is. She's hiding. <laughs> just got too many razors hanging around here for us. Okay, let's have a go. Let's get in. Oh, Lenny Blade Show. But a lot of blade feel. Open comb. Not a razor. Wow, you can feel that blade. Not a razor for newcomers. Oh, look at that already. I'm just just on a little cold sore on the corner of my mouth here. Yeah, very unforgiving. Yeah, very unforgiving. The Mueller R41 can be. Yeah, little cold sore right in the corner of the mouth there. Doesn't count. It's not a weeper. Highly efficient. Do I prefer this stainless steel version to the uh, chrome alloy version? Hell yeah. Being a fan of stainless steel razors. Always had my eye on this. I think it was last week. Somebody uh, posted on the, uh, the executive, executive Shaving Diamond Club on YouTube. They just purchased one or it appeared on the post anyway and it uh, rekindled my interest. So I went for it through uh, Klarna. But uh, Lorna very kindly paid it for me. Yeah, a little cold so. It don't muck around. It really don't muck around. And it does feel, it does feel nicer than the chrome alloy version. Just an usual cheat there. Super. Works like a charm, works like a charm. I'll just do a quick spray. Not the slickest of soaps, I find, Ragnarok. That would be mean, but uh, I do find with a lot of vegetable based soaps that uh, that's the case. That's just me personally, I suppose. Certainly slick enough to do the job. Yep. So what's your thoughts? Do you put scent before slickness? Slickness before scent? Both? I like variety. Okay, trying to be as quick as I can. I'll take it down the boozer. Oh, just look at the handle, eh? Now it is quite, when you soak it up, the grip's not amazing. So you do have to keep your hands pretty clean during the shave. Yeah, a little bugger about that uh, 
call sorter. Never mind. No break biggie, is it? Could you shave every day with the Mueller R41? Well, yeah. Because it is highly efficient. It takes a lot less work. To complete the shave. Hence, you're taking less strokes. Less strokes equals less irritation and razor burn. But as you can see, if you've got a little cold sore like that or a tiny pimple, this is going to have it off. Surgical exfoliation, I call it. And that's okay. As long as you use plenty of aftershave later, after, after the shave, disinfect the skin. Only little spots that you have, you know, that's basically BBS now. And any little spots that you have decapped. It's going to be safe because you've treated them with the uh, aftershave. Just need to use an alcohol based aftershave. I tell you, two passes, one with, one across. And this ain't far off BBS. As BBS is the goal. Pass number three, against the grain, is coming. It's a light lava. Well, actually I've been carrying this sofa around with me <coughs> all week, whilst I was down in uh, Devon, Torquay. But uh, just didn't get around to using it. Didn't get around to doing a shave. Well, not a shave on YouTube, because as I say. Conditions did not permit. That's number three. Do or die. Yeah, very, very little. Stubble to be shaved off on the third pass. Oh well. Easy. Gotta go over this cold sore again. I'll try to avoid. Oh. Going directly against the grain on the nose there, under the nose. I could tell I was shaving with the beast and uh, just took a different angle. That's a far safer an angle under the nose. Very nice. And you can see what's coming in a future video. It's going to be the Mueller GS versus the uh, cheap, I want to say cheap, I mean the chrome alloy Mueller R41, the head of which I have here. 
So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. That's going to be a good comparison. So nice to weep is there. Little awkward bit right under the chin. That's cleared easily. Cleared easily. Just relaxing the neck to get into the hollows here. Now when you're using something like the R41, say so if you do have a little tiny pimple or something you're not aware of, a little imperfection on the skin, you will uh, you'll get a little short bite. But that's the type of razor it is. That's why so many of us love, love this razor. Just going down for the cold rinse. Sting there off the uh, cold water. Not much, just a little. There we go. Honky dory, honky dory. Very nice indeed. I knew that to be the result. Totally BBS, all over, all over the neck. Yeah. Open up a little tiny cold sore right in the corner of the mouth there. Got the slightest, slightest of weepers there. Well, that's the Mueller R41. But uh, yeah, you've, you've seen me do worse than that. In the, uh, when we uh, talk about bloodletting. Yeah, excellent. Got a nice feel where the hands stick to the face. Straight after a BBS shave. Oh, made up with that GS. Okay, afters. One of the uh, aftershaves I picked up very cheaply in France. Again, round about the euro mark, I think it was three or four different types of brute. And this is Attraction Totale. Attraction Totale. French, well, it was a French aftershave. It's not really, it was bought in France. Give it a shake. Finger over the cap because there's no restrictor as such. Oh, you boy! We got a good sting. We got a good sting there. But you see, you see me, me react to stings in different ways. So really, compared to some of the stings I've had, that's nothing. But I'm going to put just a little bit more on because I do like the sense of this. I do like it. Very nice, indeedy. And there we have it. There we have it. I wish you could find everything else here. Well, I can't. Okay. So for today, Lauga or Ragnarok from Sweden. Whipped up 26 millimeter synthetic from DS Cosmetics in my executive shave and super duper sized lathering bowl. Star of the show. It's a Mueller R41 GS stainless steel razor. In there was the Mueller blade. Just one creeper, a creeper. That's a little spot of blood that appears sometime after shaving. That was all finished off with the Brute Attraction Total. And there we have it. So, what are you doing? The uh, Jubilee celebrations, have a great bank, bank holiday. Importantly, enjoy yourselves, stay safe, and I'll see you all further along the line, guys. Bye-bye now.